It's the final <laughs> countdown. Do -do -do -do. Ladies and gentlemen, we are at the final game. Game seven. Cloud nine taking on BTK. It's all or nothing. Hit a chance at a reverse sweep. Who would have thought it? The BTK has been able to push on forward. Hoon meditating, laying on the couch. He knew the entire time. And right now, both sides at equal footing. A chance to claim that crown for North America. All right, so do you think if BTK wins, Hoon will get up? Do we, do we think he will get up if BTK wins? Or will he just, he'll just close his eyes and go to sleep at that point. He's like, all right, it's finally time to rest. Um, coming into this game though, looking at the drafts. Um, I mean, I'm wondering, Lari looks like it's getting pretty aggressive early on. And it does look like Shark is gonna take the uh, the Gatot and fly chicken with that uh, Cho and the XP. Yeah, and uh, ooh, Shark, oh, we do have a little bit of a CC going on to Mark Cutie. He's going to dash himself to safety. Yeah, going to go back to safety. I mean, there's a lot of sustainability for the Bloodthirsty Kings. And yeah, you are right on the money with uh, Shark, right? He ran this uh, Gatot in the Rome position. And again, we're going to be see Chicken on this show. He's going to be paired up against uh, Nass on the Ruby. Yeah, basic doing a good job at freezing lane up there, trying to keep it on his side. Bazia not falling for the tr tricks. Um, I'm wondering, I feel like mid is going to be so crucial in this game. Shark and Hoon, Mark Cutie, Cole World. It's been the matchup of the season. And honestly, both of them, it finally feels like BTK, their mid is rotating very well. Cloud9 as well. Cole World on this raft. We know how fast he moves around. Mm. We know, you know. I was kind of wondering about some of these kills that Moba Zane was kind of uh, trying to initiate. He didn't get the kill. They were more we assist. Oh, we're going to go ahead and start a fight here. Yeah, G Kundo from Chicken may be the opportunity, but both sides fighting out. The Lancer and dropping down. And Zane able to get the retribution for the Bloodthirsty Kings. Hoon will punish best player. Marquita responds back, finding Hoon. That'll be a one for one trade and a turtle over to the Bloodthirsty Kings. That is, a, that is a good trade for BTK right there. You get a little bit of gold, and not, I mean, the most important thing is you get the kill on the best player. Yeah, and, and that's already going to go. You know that that's gonna, the frustration is going to start setting in. They have really kind of honed in on to best player, and this is what I was kind of waiting to see from them too, especially with the focus that Cloud9 put in on the early stages of the series against. You start to show its cracks, to, to the little bit of the frustration starting to show through here. Ooh, we have Mark Cutie with a possible flank. Yeah, they're going to look for the trade. They're going to go in for the side lane instead of the turtle play. A smart decision. Zia Ooh. will be punished right there. Shark with the AOG a little late to the party. And you will see Zia pay the ultimate price. But on the turtle, BTK looking to possibly get this trade. And it looks like they may be able to get it. Zoning out Nats on top of that. I mean, it's, I mean, BTK gets turtle, but honestly, I like gold. I like getting the gold laner. I like getting the gold plating. I feel like Cloud9. Uh, the pole coming in from Hoon now starting to uh, kind of readjust around the map. A lot of pressure here. Like I said, they've really kind of honed in on Zia now because of that last game. He was able, to, even at the 16 minute, you waited for Zia to come online, still became an issue for the side of Cloud9. Here, they're not going to be taking those and making those same mistakes. Ooh, there goes the BMI and the Blazing Duet Ooh. back to safety. Crossbow Tang, he found the weakness points in a matter of seconds. So both sides will trade equal damage. More of a defensive crossbow Tang at that point. The damage still not quite there, but he does survive the gank. On the mid side, watch uh, watch Hoon and Shark, man. They are moving. They're they're staying all over the place, and that's a lot of times is one of the problems that I see with BTK currently. Hoon kind of hangs out a bit too much in the mid but lately these past couple games that they've been winning he's been getting very involved yeah and they're gonna go ahead and start things up another turtle that just is unable to be contested by cloud nine this time <laughs> not much of a response coming from them i mean and if they don't find a trade for a pickoff then be healed every single time the healing comes mm. out there oh we have a little bit of a uh, surrounding here for basic yeah, we were saying they needed to respond back, right? Need to find an opportunity to shut down the gold laner of Cloud9, but Basic not going to go out without a fight. A great blazing duet to be able to stop BTK on the push. Not only does he get away, but he he scares them away while doing it. But a nice hook. Ooh. Ooh. More damage, Able to top side. A little bit more damage. Oh my goodness, a double Dekundo AOG. With the follow-up and the crossbow tang, the finesse on the way. Basic will fall, Bazia 
may be punished. Best player able to shut him down. Shark needing to get back to safety. Hit with the I'm offended. Zane with the heavy left punch takes out Cold World. Best player gets the double. Finding Shark. Now three to one on the top side. Now two to three on the top side. And Zane and Hoon left to defend. Yeah, and with that, you're going to be looking at uh, a two down for BTK. They're going to go ahead and start looking for some positioning around this Lord. A little bit of an advantage to them now, about a 1K gold lead. They were able to answer back. This is the one thing that we've been talking about. You need to be prepared for the answer back from uh, from Cloud9. There, No matter when you get the kill, no matter what kind of pickoff you have, you need to be prepared for that response that comes out from Cloud9 because they're not going to let it go silently. At this point, both teams definitely know what's on the line, right? Neither team letting anything go silently, not even a tower. I don't think we've been 10 minutes in where a single tower hasn't been taken. Hoon able to get out of that one. Still a little bit of a vi for the first Lord, but keep our eyes on Basic up in the top side. The question still rises, is this a good or bad thing? Yeah, you can definitely tell a lot of nerves for both sides, not wanting to be too aggressive, not wanting to be the one to create the mistake that can ultimately cost them this series, you are seeing the Lord at about 45% HP. Chicken, a great engagement on the Nas with the way the Dragon set up. Oh. AOG for Marcuti, dropping down. We'll connect on the Shark. Chicken will fall. Marcuti will be the one to find him. One member down for the Bloodthirsty Kings, but they're still going to push in for this objective. Best oh. player a little bit quicker at the Retribution. Able to get it. 4C9 finds a kill on Zane and Zia. Three members down for BTK. Make that four as Cold World will find Shark. Man, we were talking about the pressure, then it's starting to pay dividends now. Basic, able to come in with the Blazing Duet, the amount of damage he's able to release onto BTK, allowing Best Player to come in to do the cleanup job, and just like that, four members of BTK fall. Yeah, that is going to be devastating at this point. I mean, it is, Moba Zane goes down, everyone takes a shot to the face there, and C9... They feel it. They have the momentum. They're going to start trying to make moves around the map. Look at everyone in a different lane. Yeah, you do see the way the dragon set up too from Chicken. Now forced to go back to safety as the Lord marching in on the top side. The knockup Whoa. from the enhanced chains. A great setup. But can they follow through? Zia able to find Nat. Quick punish. Nat very low. Shark will fall. Cold World able to take him down. That is going to be a one for one trade for both sides. Oh man, and just like that, a 7k gold lead for the side of Cloud9, down to high grounds of BTK. At this point, can they defend? Zia still dancing, still trying to make something work. Cloud9, I mean, I think as long as they play this safe, they're in, they're in complete control. And I think it's been the game plan from the beginning, right? Just play, play smooth, don't overextend, get our gold leads where we can, control the map. And just look at the difference of what one minute can make as well, right? One minute ago, BTK had all their turrets. <laughs> now they're down <laughs> to an inhibitor on the bot side, and Cloud9 having a lot of insurance to work in their favor. That just shows you how one little mistake can be the difference. Well, and especially for, for teams like this who are just so well synergized, who have such a grisp a grasp on the macro and what they need to do and where they need to push especially with the benefit of a lord coming out it's just it you cannot give up you've talked about it before you can't give up an inch because these guys are going to take a mile for it here right now 12 minute mark a btk on the back foot with a, a 7k gold deficit and look at this defense that cloud nine has over the river look at the defense that they have i mean just this line of members and they're getting back to that angled style play that cloud nine does so well especially in a game when your enemy has no towers best player going up to the top side and at this point they just wait so the question is like how does btk break through this right either fly chicken gets the big kick gets the pickoff or shark gets the big aog but i think it's definitely they have to find at least one member to kind of crack through the armor Right, I mean, it was just that one engagement that really opened up the map for Cloud9. I still think VTK can take the fight when it comes to the 5v5, but they're definitely going to be have to be more careful on positioning because if they fumble that opportunity again, Cloud9 are going to look for the early finish. Ooh, and you see right here, Fly Chicken dancing around Cold World here. I'm not even sure if he knows if he's in that bush, if he's cleared it just yet. Cold World very patient right now. <laughs> 
Yeah, I don't think you know. I don't, don't think Fight Chicken knows he's there at all. And Cold World just like the patience is is a virtue at this point. Hanging out, no vision, and there's the Cold World basic combo at the bottom lane once again. Yeah, the split push in effect to be able to have the wave management. Oh. And now both sides find it out. Airborne knockup. Zane able to find that. That's huge for the Bloodthirsty Kings, but they need to get back to safety. Look at the Lantern placement. Basic with the side plate of the place. Oh. Duet to the full team. Best player finding Shark. That is going to be a one-for-one -one trade in the Ooh. mid lane. Crossbow tank activated with the Winter Crown. Buy some time. Boom. We'll find Cold World. Basic goes back to safety to BMI. Mark Cutie finding Gia. They don't have the ADC. Oh. Zane. Takes down best player, no retribution for Cloud9. Three for two <laughs> trade over to BTK. Feeling good. That punt, I mean, they're they're starting to trade blows. BTK finally starting to being willing to take these fights and handling them well. Cloud9 as well, though. Mark Cutie helped to save that position by getting rid of Zia. Yeah, I mean, and, and Zia has become a, a huge uh, issue for the side of Cloud9, even at 1 and 4 right now. 14 minutes. He's still got two more minutes before he hits that Zia power spike that we, <laughs> yeah. uh, that we know him from the last game here. So uh, still some wiggle room for BTK. But man, just right now, already kind of limiting it down to a 3K gold lead uh, for the side of Cloud9. And uh, BTK Ooh. just is still in it, but... Zane, oh. a little bit of a miscalculated oh. play, now working in his favor, finding Basic, able to sustain himself, and who will find Cold World? Did he just turn this around? The bait, working in Zane's favor, now Zia will shut down Mark Cutie, huh. only Nats and best player left to defend, and the Lord will go over to the Bloodthirsty Kings. We're talking one punch, one hit, a millisecond, one moment for, B for Moba Zane to take out Basic and completely put this game into their hands. And just like that, turned it around with one hit. Takes down basic three down for the side of Cloud9. BTK have, uh, I mean, at least a, a short answer just now and a 2K gold lead in their favor. Yeah, but there's still a lot of turrets to go through. Even though they were able to get that objective, they still got to do a little bit more work to get to that base crystal. But effectively, that is a, a massive uh, victory in terms of objectives, right? It's gonna keep them on the playing field and force Cloud9 to be on the defense. But as the Lord marches in on the bot side, BTK will look for a possible punish, but they're gonna go in and try and burst down this Lord. But I'm standing, I'm pacing in front of the monitor right now. Anything could happen. I think Cloud9 needs to do what they've been doing. Take it slow, right? They can't rush this. I think when they overextend themselves, when they go for these big plays, that's when the mistakes start to come in. They cannot underestimate BTK at this point. I think they really just need to let BTK come to them, and there it is. Yeah, the initiation on the way. Zane able to find best player. Oh, be able to get oh. another. Zia finding Ness. That's two down for Cloud9. Blaze went into the heart of the battle. Shark falling for the Bloodthirsty Kings, but not going to stop BTK on the push. Oh. Minions in the mid lane. Oh. G Chicken finding Mark Cutie. Moments away with one final strike. Cloud9 will be shut down by the Bloodthirsty Kings. The threat of fate has been severed, and they reclaim the crown as North America's champions. The whispers laid to rest. The doubts laid to rest. Cloud9 laid to rest as BTK <laughs> reign victorious. We said four games in a row would be hard every year. They do the...